Um, as you can see, first things first is some graphing, but honestly, these numbers don't even fit the graphs. So just like cross it out. We're just moving down to number five. Okay, so it says, find the measure of each angle in the isosceles trapezoid. They specifically say it's an isosceles trapezoid. So that means this is the same length as this. And in an isosceles trapezoid, the base angles are congruent. So if this is 118 degrees, then this is 118 degrees. And then also, remember, you have parallel lines and a transversal here. So these two angles are supplementary. So to find these base angles, we're going to do 180 minus 118. And that equals, I should have my sheet, 62. You're awesome. So 62 here and 62 here. OK. OK, moving on to the next question. Get my cheat sheet out. OK. So number six, same idea. It's isosceles, so our base angles are the same. This would be 82. And then this would be supplementary to that 82. 180 minus 82 equals 98 and 98. Pretty simple. OK. Next. OK, so now it brings in the mid segment. Find the length of the mid segment of the trapezoid. Um, you could use the equation, or if you can easily see the middle of 10 and 18, which would be 14, that's going to be that length there. If you're more of an equation type person, you can just add um, 18 plus 10 divided by 2. You'll get 28 divided by 2, which is 14, and there is your answer there. Number 8, um, same idea, except it's harder to see the middle there. So what I would recommend doing is 76 plus 57, divide that by 2, and that will come 133 over 2, which does come out to a decimal, 66.5. So this here is 66.5 units. Okay, next. Okay, find A, B. So now it wants this right here. Um, you could use the equation, or you could recognize that this is 7 plus 3 here. So this number is going to be 7 minus 3 in the other direction. So it's going to be 4. If you don't like that way, then what you could do is 10 plus x divided by 2 will equal 7. And then you can work backwards to solve for this number. So to solve this, you could just multiply both sides by 2. And x equals 4. OK, number 10. Um, this one, again, you could use the equation. Or you could just subtract these to find the difference. Um, and then just add that to get this guy. So 18.7 minus 11.5 equals 7.2. So there's a difference of 7.2 here. So if I add 7.2 to 8.7, I'll get the longer side. And yeah, 25.9. If you're more of like an equation type of person, then you could do 11.5 plus x divided by 2 equals 18.7 and solve it that way. From here, yeah, I'll just leave it like that so it doesn't get confusing. OK, we're going to do a couple on the back, so flip it over. Okay, on the back, <laughs> it's kites. Okay, um, so for a quadrilateral, remember the interior angles add up to 360 degrees. So we're going to use that fact for these. Um, here's a kite. As we know, these this angle is equal to this one. So we're going to subtract these two numbers from 360. And then we get 220. And then that degree measure needs to be spread evenly among those two angles. So next step would be 220 divided by 2 is 110 degrees. So this is 110, and this is 110. OK, 16, same type of problem. Um, this time they gave us a little square. That means 90 degrees here. And then these two angles are going to be equal. 
So we'll take 360, subtract 150 and 90, 120 degrees. And then that needs to be divided evenly among those two angles. So divide by two and get 60 degrees. Okay, 17 and 18, same concept. This one's just a little bit different. Um, for 17, they give us this angle, which is the same measure as this one. So this would be then 110. And we need to find G. So 360 minus 110 minus 60 minus 110. And we're left with 80 degrees. So 80. And number 18 is that same concept there. They showed a little square, so that means this is 90. This is 90. 360 minus 110 minus 90 minus 90. And it's 70 degrees. There's one more I'm going to do with you. So just hold on. OK, there's one that they didn't include on here, but there is a couple like it in the question bank for the homework. Um, so just kind of sketch it out here. So if you get it, you'll know exactly what to do. Um, I'm sketching out a kite right here. And for this kite, I'm also sketching out the diagonals. Okay, so let's say on this kite we're told that this is six units and then this is four and it wants to know this distance here. Um, the way we'd find that distance is by using Pythagorean theorem since we have a right triangle. So to do that, a squared plus b squared equals c squared is the equation we'd use. Just six squared plus four squared equals c squared. Get 36 plus 16. Uh, one second, is emergency? Okay, square root of both sides. And then the answer you'd be looking for in the answer bank would be square root of 52. And that's how you do that one. Okay, that's it. You can get started on the homework. Um, please take a laptop to your seat and you know the deal.